Hey travelers, welcome back to another video. Tonight, Dearest and I are at the Minnesota Zoo Jack-O-Lantern Spectacular. This is the third year the Minnesota Zoo is doing the Jack-O-Lantern Spectacular. It is best to arrive 30 minutes before the time on your tickets so you can beat the line. For our time, it was at 9 p.m., but we arrived at 8.30 and we stayed in line for less than five minutes before we were officially in the jack-o'-lanterns. This year's theme is Pumpkins A to Z. The walk to the entrance of the pumpkin trail takes about 10 minutes, but the walk through the jack-o'-lantern's particular takes about 40 to 50 minutes to walk through. Throughout the video, you might notice that some of the pumpkins are a little bit harder to see. This event runs from October 1st to November 7th. So if you guys would like to come and see 5,000 jack-o'-lanterns, the link for the tickets will be down in the description, but act fast because these tickets are being sold fast. Passion for Pumpkins is a professional multimedia company run by the Reckoner family and close friends. Passion for Pumpkins pr produces shows around the country, including the Jack-O-Lantern Spectacular. This event is stroller and wheelchair friendly. In the 1960s, local conversationists began lobbying for an expensive zoo facility that would not only feature species native to Minnesota, but also animals all naturalistic settings and outdoor exhibits. The initial thought 
was to enlarge Como Zoo in St. Paul, but by the 1966, they didn't have enough room to expand. So the Dakota County donated 500 acres of land in Napa Valley to the state of Minnesota in 1970 to start the, co the construction of a new zoo. The Minnesota Zoo's official name is Minnesota Zoo Zoological Garden. This name was chosen to imply a place where guests can view living animals in a garden-like setting. The Minnesota Zoo opened in 1978 with a mission to connect people, animals, and the natural world to save wildlife. The zoo is home to more than 4,500 animals and 505 species. The zoo's annual attendance is of nearly 1.3 million visitors. The Minnesota Zoo has collaborated with the Minnesota Department of Natural Resources to successfully return cattle gene free bison to Minnesota State Parks. So this is the end of tonight's video. Hope you guys enjoyed seeing the pumpkins with us. It was a lot of fun. It was really cool seeing all these different pumpkins from A to Z. And yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video and we will see you in the next one.